Welcome YouTube to my PO12 MIDI sync tutorial. Many people have asked me in my jams how I end up syncing my PO12 to all my other pieces going on here and how I end up getting it in sync and how I jam out on top of it and end up um, and eventually recording it all synced up. And it's pretty simple. I guess some people just need a little bit of help, so I figured I'd make a quick video. All right, and this video will contain everything you need to set up the PO12 to your MIDI setup. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a PO12 or any other pocket operator. Really, I shouldn't just say PO12, any pocket operator. Next, you need a sync wire. You need some sort of wire that enables you to sync the PO12s. Most of you know which what type of wire you need, so I'm not going to go too deep into that. But you're going to need a sync wire in order to sync the PO12 to your setup. Next thing you're going to need is a setup. You're going to need some sync, something with MIDI. You're going to need something sending MIDI clock down the chain. In this setup, I have Ableton as my master clock. My master, and then I have it sending through the JP08 and I have the Volca Beats going. Now, if I hit play on my master clock of my... You're gonna see it starts the sequencer on both my devices. You need to make sure the sync is on to do this. Um, in Ableton, that's found in the preferences. Um, hardware devices have different options for whether or not they send a sync in or out, but you need to make sure the sync out is on in order for this to work with your PO12 because the PO12 relies on that to sync up with your device. In order to hook up the PO12, you're going to need some sort of device that transfers MIDI to analog sync. Um, there's many devices out there. Roland makes one um, and many other companies make devices of that nature. But something that is really cheap that a lot of electronic artists already have is the Vocord Volcas. One of the amazing things about these core Volcas is they have a MIDI in and a sync out each and every one of them. That allows them to turn MIDI data into analog data, which is pretty amazing for their price, you know? Um, it's one of the main reasons I keep them around. I mean, they have good sound in general, but they really allow you to adapt your setup, um, which is really nice. So now I'm gonna, since the MIDI in is already being sent to the Volca, beats as you saw before I'm just gonna plug from the sync out into the of the Volca beats into the sync in of the PL12 right now okay okay as you can see now the wire is in the sync in or the sync out of the Volca beats and going to the sync in of my PL12 now another if you, you might be able to hear it you hear a clicking noise right now once you do that one setting you must do is you must hold down function and hit BPM until you see system 2. Once you see system 2, now it's in slave mode. It's ready to receive clock and you shouldn't hear that click anymore that was coming from your PO12. So that's an important thing that you must do. And now you just hook up the audio to the PO12. In this video you're not going to hear the audio, but right now the audio is hooked up to the PO12 and which is synced from the Volca Beats. Now I'll hit play on Ableton. As you can see, my two MIDI devices auto start. This is the downside of the PO12. It doesn't have MIDI, so it will not auto start. You must time it and start it itself. But if I hit play, if you see the speed of the man right now, how fast he's moving, that's going at Sixty-three beats per second. If I turn that up to two hundred and seventeen, you notice our man's moving a lot faster. He's in sync with our song now. He's moving at the same tempo. Now again, you must auto start it. So I'll turn the tempo back down. And now a secret, what I do to get the PO12 lined up with the rest of your device is you want to hit play when 
when it's when your sequencing dot is on the very last bar of your pattern that's when you want to hit pan the play on the peel 12 because it's going to latch onto the next sequence that's played so you hit play right now and if you notice the peel 12 starts at the exact same time That's the Volca Beats. But that setup will get it all synced up and ready to go in the ink clock and it'll change with the tempo of Ableton. Um, just like starting, there is no auto stop. So when I hit stop in Ableton and the rest of my devices stop, the PO2 will continue to go. So you must manually stop it too and it'll continue to go at its own clock at that point it'll draw because it it loses its auto clock so you must manually stop it too um, sometimes turning it into a sample at this point can be easier than working with live audio but i like to work with it live thank you for watching this tutorial if synthesizers live jams free patches or anything of that nature interest interest you please subscribe man because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos this year. This is my second year of YouTube, and I have pretty big plans, so keep an ear out. Thank you very much, YouTube. Have a great day.